Hi, and welcome to another video on Mac 4. If you're like me, you've got Mac 4 and you've got it set up on a smooth stepper and you've zeroed everything out, all your lights are green, ready to go and then all of a sudden one of your limit switches trip because we're only using little mechanical switches. Well, the people at Mac, Mac 4, sorry, has been very good to us and we could have a homing offset so we can move it off the switch whatever we like so you know this won't happen unfortunately the home offset doesn't work with the smooth stepper but by the time you finish watching this video it will work so I need to write our own code in the background using the PLC script signal script and screen load script is what we want to do is we want to apply an offset to our machine coordinates when everything's been homed we've already got that here with these green leds that we've been homed so if we go into our screen editor and highlight one of these go into the properties of it it's being activated by an output signal so if we go into the Mac 4 API we've got output signals for the X Y and Z whether they've been homed so we need to write a function that picks up when all three of these signals are on then move the access to what we've set in the Mac configuration but also if it's already been run once don't run it again otherwise you'll get a continuous loop of it moving if you set an offset of five your home all access they're all activated all got signals coming from x y and z it will move the five and then the plc script will start again and it will say oh they're active we'll move it five and it'll do that in a loop and just well, it will it will just limit out all your axes, so we need to put a fail safe into that as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our WX Mac and go into the Events tab of where we've got our signal scripts and PLC scripts. So in the signal script, the code we're going to be using, I'm going to be doing a lot of a lot of paste in here as I don't feel it necessary for you to watch me type all this out make mistakes and backspace and delete all the time so this is our script for it and going down the line only on the first instance it's if the signal is equal to output signal homed x then we'll do something else now is what it's going to do it's just going to check the state and see if it's on if it is on we're going to set a variable called x enable offset you can call that what you like but so long as it's consistent throughout the whole of the script if it is if the state is equal to one we're going to put x enable offset true else if it's not set if it's a zero it's going to be x enable offset offset op offset equals false and then quit out of it to do exactly the same with y and exactly the same with z when you've wrote your lower code which incidentally is case sensitive so you really do have to watch your typos if you go to your debug and compile it'll let you know here if you've got any errors in your lower code so we can now exit out of that and save it Now we need to go into our PLC script, open this one up and we'll go down to the bottom of here and we'll insert our code down the bottom. The code here is if the X enable offset is true, the Y enable offset is true and the Z enable offset is true, then we'll do something. I've just stuck a message box in here for now 
just while we test it. So let's have a quick compile, just check there's no errors. So we'll come out of that. That's okay. Go to our out of our edit screen. We want to save everything. It does that every time. Oh dear, it'll keep doing this now, won't it? Now this is what I'm on about a loop. This is a fail safe. The PLC script starts at the beginning and it runs. When it gets to the end, it starts again. Now, everything on our axis is homed and it knows it's picking up it's homed. So it's gonna constantly give us this able to offset message that we put in there. Like I was saying before, if we'd put our code in there for move our axis 5 mil, 10 mil, it would have done that and then it would have done it again and again and again and again until your axis just kept going and going and going. Now for me to get out of this now, I'm going to have to do a control alt delete and I'm going to have to close Mac 4 down because I'm in an endless loop which just won't let me get out of it. That's it, that's that gone. Open me Mac back up. This is why I like using message boxes. Yes, I want you to wake up. Right, so we'll go back. Notice it's not doing it now because it knows that these are not referenced. So we'll go back into our edit screen and we'll go back to our PLC script. We need to scroll back down to our function. Uh, and we need to put something else in there. We're going to start off uh, another variable called offset applied. Is all that's going to do is if we've already applied that offset, then don't do it again. So we can do that with another if statement of if the offset offset applied is equal to false, then we can do the message box. But if it is false and we run it again, we want to change it to true. So we can just stick another offset applied is basically is equal to true. We can stick that on the end here. This will take us out of our endless loop, if you like. So if we do a quick compile there, oh, we have an error there. End of file close. I've missed an end out. So if we go up here, there's an if statement there, so we'll stick the end on that one. There we are, that should be okay now. Compile it, there we are. Well, right there. Save changes, yep. Let's edit out of here now. Exit rather than edit out, that's a different one. So we've got no box jumping about up here. So we'll click enable and we'll do a reference home. So it's still nothing came up. Because it doesn't know what the variable offset applied is. It's nothing at the moment, it's, um, how can you put it? It doesn't exist. So we'll quickly go to our MDI, dereference everything, because once we come out of the editor, there'll be, there'll be reference, so it's gonna go straight into the code. If we go to our operator, edit screen, and this time we're going to edit the screen load. So we'll just open that up. And at the top, we'll stick an offset applied equals false, because it's never been run before. We'll save out of that. Save changes, yes. Quit out the editor, save changes. What job trace, what's that? Miss, missed that one. All right, go into the edit screen, ex exit the edit screen. That's thrown me. Now we've got everything set here. So if we enable and do a reference all home, 
that's it it knows that's at the end it won't run again because it's now set to true even if you reference home again it's not going to do it because it still references true so if you do lose or deref if you like or lose the references for any reason at all you want to be able to apply that offset again don't you well this is where our script comes in again if we go to edit go to our reference all home button and into the lower instance of that we can stick our offset applied equals false at the beginning of it before it decides to do the homing so yeah we'll save that quit out the edit screen again yep I know right so if I do reference all home it's going to apply the offset don't matter how many times I do it it'll apply it um, if I go to dereference that's it program run it will still know then it'll only do it if I click that button So everything's working how it should now. Is all we need to do is get rid of that message box and change that to the command to actually do the offset of our axes. So if we go into configure our Mac homing and soft limits, just as a reference, I'm going to stick these on five and minus two for my Z axis. Click apply and OK. I'm going to have to exit out of Mac now and restart it so it reads the machine in E where it's just saved those figures for the homing offset. So we've got them in the machine, otherwise they'll still be zero. Alright, let's go into our edit screen. Go back into our PLC script find our command at the bottom here and we're going to replace the message box with this lot as what this does is a command in Mac which is there for motion controllers is an access get home offset of the instance of Mac you're running which is this instance and that's motor 0 let's get the offset for motor 1 get the offset for motor 2. Now your axis might have all homed but it doesn't mean they're on zero that they're not zeroed out so you could home your axis and say the X is still on 50 or minus 20 but there's no point of sending it a code to go to 5 because it's gonna to have to travel a long way and it's still gonna be confused it won't be in the right place so if we run a MC axis set position and drop our position for the motor 0, 1 and 2 down to 0, it gives us a nice reference point. And last but not least, not least, the actual code for putting the offset is a G code. If we do a G00 code on the X and tell it to use the X offset from here and then do a Y offset from here and a Z offset from here. It will pick them numbers up and apply it. So let's go ahead, quick compile, according to that everything's okay. We'll quit out of the edit screen. the axis that's where it would be so I'm just gonna enable it jog away from a couple of them and I'm gonna do a reference all home and there you go you see we've just done we've just done our offset it's stuck it on the back there let's do that again that's it the offset is now working 
Well, I hope I didn't make that too complicated for you. I was starting to lose myself for a bit. Well, until the next video about Mac, I will see you next time. And I'll post this, the scripts and everything in the comments below, just so you can copy and paste it. It's a lot easier than typing it out. Okay, see you next time.